My name is Megan Ivory. I'm a fourth year PhD student studying physics at the College of William and Mary, and I have an undergraduate degree in physics from St. Vincent College to get it coupled correctly. Mm -hmm. So we have, this is the ultra cold atom lab at William and Mary, and we are doing pretty much exactly what it sounds like. We're making atoms really, really cold. Initially, we get down to a couple hundred microkelvin, which is about a million times colder than the coldest recorded temperatures on Earth. And then on our second process, evaporative cooling, we get down to nanokelvin, which is a thousand times colder than that. We hope to use these ultra-cold atoms to study precision measurements. We use a process called atom interferometry, and hopefully we can obtain really precise measurements of these sorts of things and develop better tools for measuring them. This is not something that just one graduate student can do. So I, I, I work with two other graduate students and my advisor to help put all of these tools together. We each have um, individualized projects, but without any one of those pieces, the entire experiment will not come together as a whole. I think it's extremely important that students get to do graduate research. If you want to use your career to come up with new ideas and figure out what we don't understand already and have the tools to be able to explore that, to design your own research projects, to build a new apparatus for studying things, you, it's, it's so crucial that you have graduate research experience. I want to go into medical physics. I want to use the tools that I develop here um, in graduate school, and I want to apply those to coming up with better medical devices. There's so much to be learned when you start bridging the gap between biology and physics, and there are so many tools that we can develop to make, to make treatments more realizable in the medical field. And so that's kind of where I want to, to get to eventually. It's, it's going to be a long way. I'll probably need to do a postdoc after graduate research and um, transition in that direction. But it's very exciting. Mm -hmm.